Hello, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. How are you doing? Well, I hope. Looking forward to Christmas. So today I have another unboxing video for you. Feels like ages since I did unboxing video, but I'm sure it's only a week or so. But anyway, I have another unboxing video for you. And I think it's the first ever mobile phone that we've ever unboxed here on the channel. So it's a, it's a first, it's an exclusive. Before we get started as well, speaking of exclusive, well, I can't come up with a segue there. Smash the like button for me, please. Really helps grow the channel. Anyway, so I will be unboxing this today. And this is the Samsung M31 or M31 Android mobile phone. So looking forward to this, looking forward to actually seeing this device in the flesh. Obviously, as ever, you can read about these things and look at the specs, but nothing quite like handling it and, and checking it out yourself, is there? So should we go ahead and see what we've got? So out of the box it comes to our little Samsung box here. Let's see what we've got. So here we go. I've taken off this. I'm not sure what's in here. Let's take a look. I think it's just going to be um, documentation, probably, you know, basic setup guides or perhaps warranty information, that kind of thing. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a quick, it's a quick start guide. And I'm sure it'd be the warranty information. It normally is similar to laptops. So there's that little bit. And then what we have in here is the phone itself. So here's the phone. That's the Samsung Galaxy M31. It has the sticker on it and the sticker is telling me it has an Infinity U display. It has a quad camera setup and it has a 6,000 uh, milliamp battery which is one of the important features of this phone which I'll talk about in a second around the back it's still got all the cellophane off you can see the quad camera set up there and as you can probably see in this light um, this is the blue version basically you can see the nice shimmering blue effect to it there so I'm going to put that down a second and just check what else we've got left in the box here so we have our USB charging cable it looks to be USB type C with that which is good news because the more stuff you can have, which is USB Type C is a good thing. And we have the actual Samsung charger as well, which I'm guessing is a slightly higher wattage fast charger. Yeah, it's got the adaptive fast charging branding on it, so it will obviously be designed to charge this phone that bit quicker than a standard charger. So there we go, that's the contents of the box. Back to the phone, if I may. Let's talk about first impressions of the phone and a bit about the spec as well. So spec wise, as I've already touched on, it has got the quad camera set up here. So that is a 64 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel depth camera, an eight megapixel ultra wide camera. And on the front as well, um, I think it's a 32 uh, megapixel front facing camera as well. Uh, display wise, Obviously, we can't see the display at the moment because I've still got all the wrapping on. But yeah, it's it's on here. It says it's an Infinity U display. Basically, it's a super uh, AMOLED Infinity U display, 6.4 inch in size. So it's not the smallest phone, but it's certainly not the biggest either. Um, it's certainly bigger than what I'm used to. I like compact little phones and this isn't. But I suppose by today's standards, a 6.4 inch screen is one of the smaller ones you can get. Um, the only ones which I can think of smaller off the top of my head will be like the iPhone SE, I suppose. Um, but yeah, um, uh, resolution-wise, that's the word I'm looking for, resolution. Um, 2340 by 1080, um, which basically is about 404 PPI pixel density, 16 million colour support, basically. In plain English terms, it's a really good display on this phone given the price, of course, here as well, which we'll get to. Um, so basically, it's a really, really good, bright, vibrant display, um, which I will do a full review on. I'll, I'll use this for a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll do a full review for you. Um, other features of the phone, it does have a micro SD card slot, which is great. It means you can put up to 512 gigabytes of storage. I think that's brilliant because 
The phone itself comes with your 64 gigabytes. That might be enough for you, who knows? But I always like to put an SD card in for that extra bit of storage. Obviously, you can't do that with the fruit branded phones of this world, if that makes sense. But that's what I do like about many, many, many Android phones. You just get your own storage for like five or 10 pounds and whack it in and off you go. You've got an absolute mountain of storage. So I'll be putting my own SD card in this to give it a test and see what we've got. Battery, real big feature of this phone is the massive 6,000 milliamp battery. So basically what that means is, is in the real work, in the real world, the real working world as well, specifically, it's like two days battery life. Um, it's, you know, absolutely amazing battery life. Now, obviously I'll just unbox this. So I can only go on what the documentation is telling me. There should be a couple of days. What I will do is I will use this in the normal way, a part of my normal working and home life day. And I'll see what I get and I'll report back and I'll do a full review video, maybe kind of calling it living with the Samsung Galaxy M31 or something. And I'll tell you exactly what it means in the real world because it's all well and good facts and figures, isn't it? But likewise with the cameras, lovely facts and figures, but is it actually any good? Um, so I'll let you know on the battery life, but it should blow my mind in terms of battery life. It should be a couple of days easy. And likewise, going back to that fast charger, which comes with it, when you do need to um, get it charged back up again, when it finally does run out of battery, using the adaptive fast charging, it means charging it back up. Um, shouldn't take that long either. I don't know the stats off, that off the top of my head. Again, I will do that test and I'll let you know. Um, and final thing to say, I mean, I did touch on it. Clearly this is an Android phone, like I said. I think it's version nine out of the box. I think maybe version 10, it's nine or 10. So I will check and, um, and confirm in a full review. But first impressions of the phone, um, taking it out of the cellophane now, is very good. I mean, it, it feels nice in my hand. The back of that feels nice to hold. Like I said, not the smallest phone in the world, but feels like, you know, I can hold onto it very well there. Um, and I like that blue. I like that blue finish. I think you can choose some three colors. I think it's, there's obviously blue. I think there's black. And I don't know what the other one is. It might be a white or a gray, I'm unsure. But yeah, that blue's nice, isn't it? I really like that. So I will go away and get this set up, get my SD card in it, get my SIM card in it. We'll get it fired up, we'll give it a bit of a whirl. I'll use it for a week or two, whatever I feel sufficient. And I'll let you know exactly what it means. Oh yes, I've just realized obviously price. How much does this cost? So bear in mind the specs I just mentioned and the massive battery life, allegedly, and the amazing display, allegedly, and the really good cameras as well allegedly, when I actually test them. Um, £245. I mean, it's not much at all in the grand scheme of things, is it? I know there's obviously cheaper budget smartphones out there um, for less than that, but there's certainly an awful lot which are much, much more all the way up, isn't there? So for £245, I think, um, this cost, um, it's potentially an absolute bargain, isn't it? So... I will let you know if it really is a bargain. Likewise, let me know you appreciate this video by smashing the like button for me and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're releasing new content all the time, so please do subs subscribe. I can't say subscribe today. Please do that. Um, it really helps us out. Um, likewise, all the links are down below to connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. And as ever, please feel free to comment on the video. Ask me any questions. Give me your thoughts. Make some recommendations for me. I do try and read all the comments and respond uh, where possible. So please do feel free to do that. And I'll catch you on the next video. That's been Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. See you next time.